And hi, gang, my radar meteorologist, Matt Capucci. You know, Saturday, December 4th, 2021, will feature a rare black sun over Antarctica. This thanks to a total solar eclipse. Day will turn to night for more than a minute as the sun's milky white atmosphere hangs overhead. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon fully blocks sunlight from reaching Earth in a very narrow sliver. Even though the sun is 400 times wider, the moon is 400 times closer. That makes for a perfect match. I've seen total solar eclipses before, and I have to say, it's the most incredible display in the world, but unfortunately, this time around, only the affluent will see it. Witnessing the spectacle requires a trip to Antarctica via air or boat. The shadow will make landfall over Antarctica near Berkner Island and exit the continent near Shepherd Island. Solar eclipses are incredibly special. Day becomes night for a few brief moments as the moon's shadow or umbra sweeps overhead. The last total solar eclipse to occur was last year on December 14th over Chile and Argentina, but an atmospheric river over Chile spoiled the show there. This time around, residents of South America will see a partial solar eclipse as they did last December and also in July of 2019. Because the crescent sun won't fully be covered by the moon, folks down there will have to wear special eclipse glasses to filter out those harmful rays. During a total solar eclipse, the deepest part of the moon's shadow may only be a few miles wide. This time around, up to 260 miles in width. Here's a satellite shot showing the shadow of last year's solar eclipse trace a path over South America. Solar eclipses are special because they're the only time during which Earth dwellers can directly observe the corona or the sun's atmosphere. Only when the moon fully obscures the sun can one stare at the Milky Way prominences radiating outwards millions of miles into space. Here's my shot from near Vicuña, Chile in 2019. One of the other amazing elements of total solar eclipses is being able to see daylight on the horizon in all directions, kind of like a 360 degree sunrise. Nightfall, accompanied by a temperature drop up to about 15 degrees, is only centered directly overhead. The December 4th total solar eclipse in Antarctica will only last about a minute 54 seconds at most. Total solar eclipses are usually very fleeting. The longest a total solar eclipse can theoretically last is 7 minutes 32 seconds. Keep in mind most folks will never see a total solar eclipse in their lifetimes. The last total solar eclipse to occur in Antarctica was on November 23rd, 2003. That one occurred during sunrise, meaning the corona appeared orange around a black void where the sun should have been. Here's a map of all the solar eclipses to occur in the past 20 years. You can see the Great American Eclipse of August 21st, 2017. The red strips mark annular eclipses, which occur when the moon is near apogee, or the farthest point in its orbit away from Earth. When that occurs, it appears too small in our skies to fully cover the sun. Antarctica won't see a sunrise eclipse this time around, but it'll still be incredible. The southern lights, or Aurora Australis, may shine simultaneously during totality. Sky and Telescope magazine had chartered a flight into totality that will leave from Chile, but the Omicron variant of COVID forced its cancellation. Some cruises are still proceeding as planned, but get ready to shell out the big bucks. Costs range between $19,000 and $33,000. If you're like me and you don't have money to burn, don't despair. An annual eclipse will visit the United States on October 14, 2023, with a total solar eclipse slated for April 8, 2024. Follow my radar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.